Hello, I'm Nay, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you along as I create my newest photo project, which is a series of self portraits. And I'm also sharing some of my thoughts right now with you, things I've been learning, and just reflecting on life. I feel like both of those fit together really well. To me, taking self-portraits includes a lot of self-reflection and exploration, so I'm very excited for this video, and yeah. I create a mood board for pretty much any project or shoot I'm working on. It just really helps me to get a more concrete idea of my vision, and this is rather intuitive. I just pin things that have that kind of energy I'm going for. What someone wears in a photo can really say or express a lot about that person. So I wanted to make sure that I wore pieces that I feel like really reflected me right now and the vibe I've been feeling. For my first outfit, I picked out this really cute light slip dress and paired it with this light blue long sleeve. I love that they're just two very dainty pieces, but they don't 100% match. I feel like that says a lot about me. For my second outfit, I picked out this really, really beautiful light blouse with floral embroidery. Again, I'm just loving light, flowy things. And I actually didn't end up wearing the pants, but yeah, I love this so much. Next, we're hopping right on over into jewelry. And this is one of the fields I've been sort of exploring for myself lately and trying new things out. And I actually had the great pleasure to collaborate with Anna Luisa and use some of their beautiful pieces in my self portraits. So I'm gonna show you the pieces I got and also tell you a little bit about them and why I think they're so cool. I got two pairs of earrings, the first ones being these gorgeous gold coin hoop earrings, which are actually designed by Michelle Choi. Next we have these very cute moonstone kind of sun star ones. I also love these. I picked out two necklaces. The first one is of course the use of necklace designed by my sister Juice. And finally, I got this very dainty gold chain. I love these pieces so much. I've been wearing them every day since I got them in the mail. They're a big part of me now. Now there's lots more to love about Ana Luisa besides the beautiful jewelry. Firstly, something I appreciate so incredibly much is that sustainability is one of their core values. Where we put our money matters, so whenever I can, I support sustainable businesses. They use 100% recycled gold and sterling silver in their products. And this matters because in the jewelry industry, things like mining for new materials requires lots of energy and the production of cheap jewelry often ends in waste so it's nice to see brands finding ways to reuse recycle and just implement more sustainable business practices with their products you can tell how much care is put into the manufacturing of them and they're just really nice quality and a final plus are their prices so they try and keep their prices as fair and thus as accessible as possible which is really neat so if you're interested i definitely recommend you check out their website they're definitely one of my favorite brands right now and i also have a link down below for 10 percent off and just again a huge huge thank you to the whole anna luisa team for working with me I've definitely been thinking a lot about art and creating this past year. It's pretty much all I ever think about, just <laughs> trying to expand my knowledge on different pieces of art, different artists. And also I've been trying to understand how and why I create and make art. And an observation I've made is that whenever I create, I always like to start by dropping into this sort of underlying current or stream of things I'm feeling, things I'm thinking about, things I'm trying to understand, things I'm trying to process at the moment. And all of those things always flow into whatever I create and there's always a big chunk of me in all of my pieces of work. And for this project today, I guess the thing is myself because we're taking self-portraits. <laughs> and in this phase of my life, 
I'm finding myself interested in a variety of topics and fields. One of them is definitely the self and myself and our existence in this world. I know we're really diving deep um, at the beginning, <laughs> but just trying to understand how we exist and why we exist and how it looks like to exist and it doesn't have to be like super scientific for me just trying to understand it in my own way and for myself another concept that really fascinates me is i guess i would put it people and their environments just people moving around in the world or in their environments spaces spaces is another one that one is so i don't know trippy to me <laughs> just observing and understanding the way we operate on the daily from relationships to spaces in general i guess you could say just the relationships between things are just so interesting to me the give and take living past each other living against each other within each other yeah the challenge to me is expressing, externalizing, depicting those thoughts and ideas and visions about these topics. Just creating something real and tangible that people can see and understand and think about. It's really, really challenging, but also really rewarding. So quick real time update. <laughs> We've now arrived at the destination, which is the Cresta Zoo. And there were actually way more people than I expected. I didn't even think about that, but so freaking pretty. I'm always stunned over and over at how freaking beautiful Switzerland is. And there's so many little corners to explore. And I just feel so unbelievably lucky and thankful to have been able to grow up here with this beautiful, beautiful nature and these gorgeous landscapes. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, upon our arrival, we decided to sort of set up camp, I guess, and hang out the afternoon because the lighting wasn't too ideal. It's just not ideal to shoot midday. I mean, obviously, depending on which style you're going for. And then our plan was to sort of explore the area, um, look for shooting locations, and yeah, just kind of go with the flow of the day. But yeah, as you've heard before, I have so unbelievably many ideas and also project ideas, things I want to do, but I'm very slow. <laughs> I like to say that I like to take the nay way. Just very mindful of each step, smelling every single flower on the way, stopping every five minutes to enjoy the scenery. But over time, I've just learned to come to terms with it and try to not compare my i guess journey and progress to other people as much it's still a challenge every now and then but again i'm just going money way so here's our little lunch picnic setup it was so just chill and cozy um we also had some chocolate chip cookies which i baked the day before We moved to a bit of a shadier and I guess calmer spot because Urban just kept freaking out about dogs passing by. He's still learning. Du chien là? Comment? Aujourd'hui il y a du chien là et je dois prendre ça. Just be yourself. I'm sure we've all heard that quote before and. It seems simple enough. Just just be who you are. Express yourself. I don't know, I've always struggled to understand what that actually means. Um, and sometimes we may find ourselves at points in our lives where we feel like we don't really know who we are right now. Or we aren't quite certain about who we want to be. Questions may pop into your mind like, what is myself? Who is myself? What is my identity? I don't know, good questions, man. I don't really have answers to those questions right now. I don't know, it's just such a fluid thing, the self and who you are. 
I sometimes tend to limit myself like I'm a very introverted person for example and sometimes in a social situation I'm like no I can't suddenly be extroverted like that doesn't fit to my sort of theme but if I feel like I'm an extroverted person right now or I want to talk to people then I should you know what I mean or if you believe you're a creative person then portray that and show that and be proud of that it's a bit later now and I'm trying to find um, a good location or a few good locations for my shoe and oh my god okay so freaking gorgeous there's the lake <laughs> Ooh. okay this is a bit intense it looks like chocolate sauce you can't see it hold on I still don't have a definite answer as to how to find yourself I mean I'm really young but something that I've realized or observed is that it's not really about finding yourself I mean even just the wordplay of that you know going out to look for something when you are the answer I guess it's more about understanding yourself and just spending a lot of time with yourself getting to know yourself what you like what you don't like understanding the way you think and respond to things your reactions understanding your habits just gaining self-awareness learning what you need and what you don't need and if we continue that you start to come to terms with who you are and you learn to accept yourself i don't know i just love to find compassion for everything i am and love everything i am all my thoughts and my actions and just me then we can build on that trying to learn and grow i'd like to talk about another thing <laughs> that has really helped me with binding myself that is art <laughs> art 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 i feel like i've said that word so many times today over the years things like music and films and paintings and books have been a safe space for me where i've been allowed to explore new ideas and gain new perspectives and have orientation points for just life finding things I can relate to, I can identify with, and yeah, it's just helped me to understand myself more. All right, and as you can see from the visuals, I started to get ready for the first self-portrait and kind of set up a shot and yeah, start shooting. Yeah, I f I'm, it's a bit hard for me to like position the voiceovers and the notes I want to share and kind of comments on what's happening it was a really fun kind of process that i yeah i really had to first get into it i used choose's canon vlog camera with a flip screen because the 5d doesn't have a flip screen which makes it really hard to do self-portraits and i also used the iphone even like the iphone exposure it makes for like the best selfies no but it was fun the only problem was that firstly I somehow formatted my SD card wrong and I had very little storage on there so thankfully Juice let me borrow her SD card oh my god save in the day and another thing I kind of effed up was that I only brought one camera battery for my big camera so that was great and I only realized that a little bit later so the second I guess part of the shoot was very stressful I know at the end of the day, they're just pictures of me. It's not that mind blowing. And you might think that apart from some camera equipment, there's really not that much setting them apart from regular selfies. But it's the thought and effort that goes into it. The choice of styling, location, facial expressions, posture, colors in the picture. They're very intentional and there are little messages embedded in each of those choices. Again, as I've said, to me, self-portraits are also a form of self-reflection because they make you actively think about how you want to interpret yourself in a photo. And the challenge is to try and capture your essence at a 
specific moment in time. Yeah, so that's sort of my take. Those are my thoughts on <laughs> finding yourself and being yourself right now. I actually have a couple more notes and things I want to say, but I feel like this video is loaded enough already. So I hope you enjoyed that brief little look into the head heavy mind of Nay. I'd also like to apologize for the maybe rambliness and sometimes tangents and the unstructuredness. That's just kind of how my mind works. So I just, I really tried to do this. Um, look, I, lo I love like the styling and everything, but the camera died after like five minutes. So I might have to reshoot it, but I guess we'll see. And um, man, I love this. I need to do another shoot with clips. So we're gonna pack up now and go. But yeah, the light is so nice. Ah. I'm gonna wrap up this video by showing you the end photos. I'm really happy with them. Again, I wish my camera hadn't died and I had just more time and I guess peace to really work out the second outfit. Yeah, I feel like they really, I guess, capture me right now. Just a very, again, kind of light, flowy, dreamy energy. After the editing, I also tried to just enhance that even more. I've recently started working with curves <laughs> and it's very hard. And it's very easy to fuck it up and also just making this video about it journal style blabbering thoughts and ideas and i'm happy that i can look back on how i used to think as a 19 year old nay i'd like to again say a humongous thank you to anna luisa for collaborating with me make sure to check them out make sure to use my code if you like to buy something and yeah just thank you and see you soon